Did you enjoy the first one? When God Forgives from Psalm 32. Well, this next series is called Consistency. Um, it comes from John chapter 8, verse 31. This is done by uh, Pastor Coleman, I believe, in 1984 from Los Angeles, California. The questions you want to ask yourself is, are you consistent in your Christian walk? Are you consistent in continuing to follow after the Lord Jesus Christ? If you are, then you are his, his disciple indeed. Let the word of God richly bless you in this series here. And see... Are you continuing? Are you following the Lord Jesus Christ? This has been Difference Maker, and now you will hear Pastor John Coleman with consistency. God bless. Hello, this is Pastor Coleman from the Olivet Baptist Church on August the 10th, 1986. A sermon was preached from John chapter 8, verse 31 through verse 36. And the sermon was entitled, Consistency. You know what I was trying to do? I was trying to let the Christians as well as the non-Christian know that the Lord wants us to be consistent in our Christian lives. Jesus said in verse 31 to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Now what I was trying to emphasize are some very important points. That we are to be consistent in Christ's goodness. We are to continue in his grace. We are to continue in the Christian faith that he's established through his love. And that we are to be consistent in our prayers and thanksgiving. Also that we are to be consistent in sound teaching. And finally to be consistent or continue in the love of Christ. I trust that this sermon will be able to bless you. It blessed me and uh, not just because I preach it but because I know the substance of the word. God bless you as you listen to another fine point a tape. This is Pastor Coleman from the Olivet Baptist Church. We'll give you the address at the end of the sermon. Speak in terms of fidelity. When I preached about fidelity, I was speaking of my relationship to you and your relationship to me in terms of faithfulness. Yeah. And then a while after that, we started to speak about authority. First fidelity, then authority. The authority that you have in Christ as Christians Amen. to get the job done. Amen. Now between that, we had a baptism and we had a sermon and the door was shut and, and then we had a baptism sermon. And now this, this morning, I'm coming back and as I spoke of fidelity and authority, now I speak of consistency. Amen. Consistency. Our obligation is to be consistent in the Christian life. Amen. To be consistent. Now in these verses that we read this morning, verses 31 through 36, what do we see? We see that we can be delivered from bondage. We can be made free through the Son, Jesus Christ. But the focus is on verse 31. Then Jesus, then said Jesus unto the Jews which believed on him, this is the conditional, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Consistency. If you continue in my word, not if you're a church member. Not if you know the book. Man, man. Not if you have faith to move mountains. No. If you continue in his word, then man. are you his disciples. Man. Not if you build a church. Not if you sponsor an appreciation. Yeah. Not if you put your deeds and what you can do in the church. If you do one thing, continue in my word, then you are my disciples. That's the basis of Christianity. Amen. Consistency is what Jesus is talking to us about. Right. Now listen, when we speak about this freedom from bondage, this implies a taking of his yoke, a coming under his service. Yeah. If you continue in his word, you must take his yoke upon you. Amen. 
That means that you have to put your service down and take his service up. Amen. His service is not always pleasing even to believers. Amen. To believers. Amen. Those that have been in church for years refuse to take on Christ's yoke. Amen. Now they'll take on the pastor's yoke. <laughs> Pastor John, what do you want me to do? It's not my job to tell you what he wants you to do. He will let you know what to do, and he says right here, if you continue in my word, that's what he wants you to do, then are you my disciples indeed. See? See? It's not what Pastor John wants. It's not what Reverend Finister wants. It's what he wants. And it's conditioned upon you taking it, on you being consistent in the life that you're in. Now, for those of you that are not Christians, you have a little problem here. Because you don't have to worry about consistency. You haven't began yet. This is under the premise that we've had that start in Christ. When we enter his kingly service, we are on our way to safety. That's all these verses are telling us. But let's go back up to that verse again. If you continue in my word, you're not going to be involved in entering into safety and freedom unless you continue. Some people have a good start and they stop. They fizzle out. Christianity just becomes something that you do on Sunday. And I'm telling you that Christianity is the power that gives you force to go on on Monday. That's what it is. We continue in his service. When we continue in his service, then we get that perfect peace that we claim that we have. Amen. I will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Amen. God promises us that. But go back to verse 31. If you continue in my word. See, now I'm holding you to the point here. We're not going to talk about freedom this morning. We're not talking about, you know, the sun setting you free. Those of us that are believers know that you've been set free. But I'm admonishing you to be consistent in what his word says. You must be consistent. You must be consistent. Oh, John, I love you. I got fidelity. I love you and you love me. That's good. John, I know I have authority in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's told me to do it and I'm going to do certain things. That he... No, 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 no. He says, if you continue in my word. And all 66 books of the Bible is his word. Amen. Now let me stop here and say this. This doesn't mean for you to take a portion of scripture out of the word and put your meaning on it and try to continue in your definition of the word. That is not what he's talking about. It's not what he's talking about. He's talking about that thing that I have ordained, that thing that I have said, that thing that I am all about. That is what I want you to continue in. Not what a church may teach, not what the doctrine may teach. Jesus says, if you continue in my 